we'll put this up. Cooking preacher, he's back again. Mmm. How you do, my friend? Back at it again. Look at this. Beautiful. This is a lamb here. One of our organic grown lamb. The preacher's back cooking. I wanted you all to see this, all right? I'm doing this for my friends here. So, isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful lamb. She's ready, too. You're just gonna let her cook out. You see what I'm using here? This is mango, what I've done with this lamb here. I'll stuff this with uh, uh, mango, lemon. I have beef sausages in here without pork casings or anything like that. There's rosemary, there's jalapeno pepper. And this is a rub, I order my rub from offline. This is a rub, no sodium, especially you that uh, are trying to eliminate the sodium out of your diet. These are wonderful rubs. This is a jalapeno, mango jalapeno rub. And the people here love it. They love the, uh, the, uh, uh, the taste of it. And I sprayed this with mango, pineapple, apple, orange juice. And that will break down the cellular structure. You don't need no sodium or anything like that. And this will break it down and gives it a wonderful flavor. And this is stuffed here beautifully. Uh, and we're going to enjoy this. The people will. We're going to enjoy this. This is a wonderful little lamb. It was a ram that we butchered, I believe, on Thursday. And um, we're going to have this. I was really preparing it of a friend that is headed up from Miami, uh, he and his wife, his children, they're both the school teachers, and I wanted this to be ready when they get here, but they will be here late this evening. This will be too late to eat this. So we're here at Teshua. Look at the beautiful place. Look at colored greens and everything. It's just a spectacular place we have here. We enjoy each other. We assist each other. I was just at the dining hall table with a very precious friend of mine and I said to him, it is amazing that the people that call themselves the nation of Israel, they all love each other but there is not one drop of love. They cannot tolerate each other, they would tolerate the most vilest, evil person in the world. And it begins with their mothers and fathers, their sons and their daughters. And they will have great platitude for them. When it comes to each other, we don't have that. Can you imagine? Let me just proposition you this. If there was 150 families, if they would denounce their selfishness, mm -hmm. you could purchase a piece of land, thousand acres, you have it incorporated by righteous men that love Yah. You could have a 50-acre pond. And everyone lives around the pond. You got Achim that do nothing but build homes, not mobile homes. I would be one of the ones. You see this building here? I laid the blocks to that. That's a beautiful building. You see how we build around here? That's a lovely place. It's a beautiful place. Uh, and we could build our homes. We got the Ach that's holding the camera. He is an exceptional electrician. We got electricians. We have plumbers and all. We build every home. May I ask you a question? Mr. Rush Limbaugh lives in Jupiter, Florida. I was just telling my friend Zohain Jacob that Mr. Rush Limbaugh's house is built the same way out of the same material of a man who buys his first house, who barely can scrape the barrels to buy a house. They're block homes, mm -hmm. they're stucco because of the termites. You tell me, we as a nation collectively, we can do that? And by thousands of acres, you got a small bakery. You're selling some of the most 
beautiful prepared organic cookies and things. You have a market for that that keeps the daughters busy. Mm -hmm. And there's a substantial amount of income for the nation. Yes. You don't go and buy a pair of shoes. You go buy tractor trailer loads. You could do that, but we're mm -hmm. selfish. Making shoes, we, we have our own cows. We have sheep, lamb, mutton. We can prepare our own shoes, we can make our own shoes, we can make our own coats, we can grow everything organically. You got five or six men that does nothing, they do nothing but farm. You got men that build houses, electricians, and we have that kind of enterprise that we can, we can facilitate ourselves. Creating small LLC, low-level corporations, and creating the wealth of income. We are a stupid, ignorant jackass of a people. Can't nobody tell you a damn thing. Mm -hmm. That's our problem. Mm -hmm. This is a small scale. You don't see, just pan that camera. This is a beautiful place here. Beautiful. And all of this is stuff that is what? It is second rate because it's stuff that people didn't want. Threw it away. Let me show you something here. Most of this deck right here on this, this place right here, this come from a llama company that threw it away. Look at this system right here. This is where the hot water runs from that little place right there to this building, to that house. We got hot water and it's wood driven. You tell me we as men could not facilitate a beautiful, powerful community? We're, we're so corrupt, it's sad. You're selfish, you're gonna die that way. And you got these groups think they're doing something, doing a little something for the poor, and yet they live in two, three hundred thousand dollar houses. Can you imagine a place with a 50 acre pond? Everybody's house is on the pond. Everyone got a little boat they can row to their neighbor's home, we got everything. We have everything here, we have gym, we have NBA basketball court, we got a park over there. Mm -hmm. We got a park here. We, we, got a, we got a bed of Israel for the daughters of fellowship. We got a place for the men. We got a place for our children to go and fellowship. We got fishing ponds. We have everything. Mm -hmm. But because of this damn wicked, greedy generation, you don't give a damn. Don't tell me you love no one. You don't give a damn about no one. You can love your whorish daughter and your faggot son. You can love them and your wicked mama and granddaddy. But you don't want to be with Yah's people. Mm -hmm. You will show respect to a homosexual mm -hmm. before you show respect to a man of God. Mm -hmm. Because you don't care. We can raise our own animal. Mm -hmm. This animal, this lamb, this is a lamb. Mm -hmm. And we'll have in our herd, we'll take you through one then show you the community. We'll have about 200 to, uh, 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 by next year. It doesn't take much. Mm -hmm. We have cows that we could butcher. We have goats that we can butcher. We have ponds that we can fish in and mm -hmm. catch our fish if we want it. It's sad that you have learned to hate mm -hmm. yourself, that you hate everybody. Yeah. You can't love a brother, you can't love a sister. You don't know what it is to fellowship it and sit down and enjoy each other, but this damnable Christmas and all that, you go to your wicked mama's house and your daddy, and you know they don't give a damn about, uh, quote, your God, because your God is not worth a damn. It's sad, it's ridiculously sad. We don't have that kind of compassion that we want to be with each other. I want to be with my brother. Mm -hmm. yes, I want sir. to live with my uncle. Mm -hmm. I want to protect his wife. Yes, I want to protect his children. Mm -hmm. I want to protect his young daughters uh, growing into beautiful young women. Places mm -hmm. whereby these bastards will take their young daughters and call themselves having two or three wives. True. And rape their daughters. So true. They have no integrity. We think no men have integrity. I do. Oh, it's your own, no, it's y'all's integrity in me. Mm -hmm. And I can speak from a forthright position. Mm -hmm. I've raped no man's daughter. Mm -hmm. I've had the same wife over 40 some years. I know no one but her. That's all I know. And that's a fact. And mm -hmm. so, don't tell me about love. We will go to places that, you know, there's no infrastructure at all. They rob the people, they steal, and we think we're having a great time. I know you don't like me, that's all right. Mm -hmm. I'm not here for you to like me. I'm not here for you to draw any kind of 
friendship beyond the friendship with those that are friends of Yorkshire. Isn't that, doesn't that look excellent? Yes, it does. That does. I'll tell it you does. what, I got it stuffed. I have this lamb. Uh, I had to give you that first. I have this stuff. Look, we can eat some collard greens with it. We've eaten some of that today. We got carrots in that bed. We have a garden that we got things in. But the belly of this is stuffed with beautiful mushrooms. It's stuffed with beef sausages and, and, and lemon. It's stuffed with mangoes and uh, scallion and all of that. And it's just going to permeate this. We, we've eaten so much today. We have always on the first day, because our achim work, the ones that are here, they go out. We always have a a, a, a wonderful meal on the first day true. we gather. So we true. have a beautiful dining hall. Mm -hmm. It's just extremely beautiful. It will it will match up against any five star restaurant. Yes. It's clean. Mm -hmm. It's impeccable. Mm -hmm. Beautiful place where we come. We got a beautiful fellowship in there. Yes. So how? Come on, my friend. You will go to a restaurant and some faggot cooking for you. You will sit there and eat that dog mess. I don't go to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I will not eat out a filthy swine hole like that, where they cook in fat back and pork and shrimp. And you say, well, you know, you'll eat from there. Mm -hmm. You'll do that. True. That's and true. It, it doesn't even trouble your conscience. I will not eat from there. Will not. That's a fact. And so we can raise food like this. We can bake bread. The daughters, wonderful schools we could have to educate our children, not to become indentured to any kind of system. Yisrael in, in Misraim, they had Gosha, and they prospered, they had much. So it's not a matter of captivity under some form of bondage. I'm not under bondage. Mr. Trump doesn't trouble me. I'm glad that God put him in power. He gave us this vile nation a dirty man that loved faggots. His name was Mr. Barack Hussein Obama. He made every inroad for faggot to marry, for faggot to declare he's a faggot and do it proudly. And Mr. Donald Trump, a mo the, the adulterous dog of a, of a violent reproach to humankind. And you see, that's what you want. That's what you want. And Yah said, I give them just what their heart want. And that's what he gave us, son. And he's not my king in the sense that I'm here, but he doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. And what he does is policies, not at all. You people that say you Hebrews and love Yah, you don't give a damn. You all can get together by one building and stay together because you'll be raising hell. You'll be fighting. You have no respect for authority and the beauty of authority. That's something beautiful about authority. What you saying that, uh, uh, man? Let me ask you a question, you daughters of Zion. Is the authority of your head, your rush, your ish, is he it, is it beautiful? You see, we have no regard for authority. None whatsoever. It's very sad, very sad, very, very sad when we as a people just collectively could balkanize the Russians do it in Brooklyn. The, the Irish do that. The Chinese balkanize it. They call their places Chinatown. Mm -hmm. Yet where is the Hebrew town or the black town? It's very sad. It's pathetic and it's pitiful. And the reason it will not happen because you don't know how to respect authority. Mm -hmm. Well, no one tells me when that cop pulls you over, he tells you. Mm -hmm. You respect him, you get nervous, you get fidgety, you get the sweating. And immediately you know you've done something wrong. Although he, he didn't even stop you for doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. But yet you will, you, you will confess it. You know you did something wrong. Oh, he got me. But yet when it comes to the way of y'all, we are such a damnable, corrupt people. I'm speaking like that. We don't give a damn about the nation. We don't give a damn about no one. I say it like yes. that. Our minds are damned. Our thoughts are damned. Mm -hmm. We have no perspective of what true life is. Mm -hmm. Beautiful community yes. that people would travel from all over the world to see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I know how to do it. I'm too old now. I don't have the, uh, uh, the, uh, the labor of energy because I help build everything here. Mm -hmm. 
There's nothing here you see. Pan around that side. That I did not, there's not one building, one thing you see right here mm -hmm. that I did not help build. Mm, it's true. Even this behind, a little place where they can sit, the little flower beds right here where we can sit at times and just fellowship. There's nothing here. Nothing. Not one building. Mm -hmm. And I must say, we have a beautiful place. You know, people don't, no one has ever seen the beauty of it by pictures. You have to visit this place to see the beauty of it. True, true. Everything is organized, everything is in place. True. Because it takes strong leadership. And a man understands the beauty of strong leadership because he knows he has strong leadership. He leaves a wife. This man behind me with the camera, he has a wife, he has sons, and he has daughters. Mm -hmm. In order to bring them in the proper nurture of Yah, he must be a strong leader. Mm -hmm. True. And because he admires strong leadership, because he's a strong leader, it doesn't offend him. Yes. We are such a weak people, strong leaders offend us. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing that you would trust men that will, will try to try to be aggressively uh, sensual toward you, wanting sex, will go after your daughter and all those kinds of things, and go after your mother too. True. Yet a man of you that respect and honor all the daughters of Zion, not out on some street corner telling them this and that, calling them that because they have on pants. Yes, wearing slacks is an abomination for a woman to wear it. And if that's not so, then it's all right for a man to wear a dress. Now, you know you will not want your husband wearing no dress. That's, that's effeminate. That's, and Yah is going to kill every effeminate man. And so it's very sad. Look, look, just look at this little area where we come right here, we can cook. And, and this is my area where I like to cook. Mm -hmm. I have two areas. I have three. I have that building there. I have this area. And I have another area at the dining hall that I can cook. Beautiful grills that I can put a quarter of a cow on that thing. And, and, and I, I can prepare all kinds of food. And I love doing it. Mm -hmm. Because this ach on the camera behind me, that's holding the camera. He works hard for the for the community to make sure we have more than enough. I can't give him no money. We all give everything. Yes, sir. Right. But I sure love cooking for him. Yes. We could have banks to loan money and do right by people that don't even know ya. We could have car lots, and that was my plan here yeah. to buy this city, and we could have. I own nothing. When I'm dead, I'm dead. I have no insurance for my issue. I have no money, nothing for her. And if I did, it would be left for this place and for these, the, uh, the sons and daughters of Zion. It's sad. It is sad. Very sad. What a beautiful oasis that could be. So true. If you could find just a remnant of people you're selfish. You don't give a damn. It's got to be your way mm -hmm. and nobody else's way. Well, you can't come here like that. Mm -hmm. You can't even visit Teshua that way because mm -hmm. I'm not going to, we are not going to the Achim. We will not allow that from True. no one because that's not the way we operate. True. We have a beautiful place. We love the way we live. Yes, that's true. Well, you never get upset with each other. You know, you're quite silly. That's right. You're quite silly. Mm -hmm. I've been married for over 40 some years. Have I been upset with my wife? Never to walk out of the house. I've never done that. I've never said I need to take a ride out. Mm -hmm. Upset about what? Nothing. Because I didn't put the toilet tissue or the toilet paper on properly. Oh, that's yeah. silly. And we get upset with each other about nothing. Mm -hmm. and we find an excuse to segregate yes, and separate. Yes, we don't love no one. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to say we're wrong. Mm -hmm. I have stayed faithful with one woman all my life. Because I knew when I was wrong. And I've never had any problem saying I was wrong. You need to check your heart, my friend, your mm -hmm. hearts, and get it right. I just wanted to speak for a moment. Um, we're here just fellowshipping. Sunday, first day is always a great day of fellowship, but it is this pagan, damnable Christmas. And uh, the families tend to go and gather together and make their little runs and do their little thing. But mm -hmm. what a beautiful thing it would be if we had our own stores. We could have them. Yes. 
have our own shoe stores that we make shoes. We got patterns you go in and they make you boots whatever you want. We got daughters that are seamstress and, and that sew and pattern making beautiful, uh, beautiful clothing that wherever they go the world would marvel at that. And you would rather dress like a dirty slut of a whore. And the men effeminate. Where has this people fallen to? It's so sad. Everyone wants to be Mr. Big. Everyone wants to be Mr. Big. They want everyone to reverence them. And they don't give a damn about the ones that they won't reverence. Everyone got an idea. As my mother would say to my oldest brother, you have a champagne mine and a beer pocketbook. And that's when you're broke. You have no money. You got all these grander ideas, but you never exert the kind of energy of bubbly, whereby champagne, when you open it, what it will present, you never exude that kind of enthusiasm. You talk, and that's it. And I've seen what they call communities. Ah. I wouldn't live there. I would not live in one of these communities because I know of no other one that is a true, genuine Hebrew identity of the true name and the truth, not some twisted damn fickle Jesus Christ. I know of no other one but this one. I would love to find one. I would love to be in fellowship with those that are the same precious Imuna community and we could go and have the feast days and yes. fellowship mm -hmm. and all of those things that mm -hmm. assist each other. Yes. I'm not going to compromise with Jesus Christ. No. You will go to hell. Now this is one one will not interact with Jesus. That little white boy, that's all he is. It's amazing that these call themselves Hebrews uh, and they got the same kind of prototype. Uh, this dreadlock wind, uh, uh, effeminate looking person, just like the Jesus. Mm -hmm. Say the white one is fake, but the black one is right. Oh, I just want to share that moment with you, my thoughts, and look at that lamb. She's right. Organic, grown, no shots of chemicals or nothing. This is right here. I'm going to let this go for a few, couple more hours. Ah, until the coals are finished. We're going to, we've had my, my issue. Ima Raffaire, she loves to challenge me with her cooking, so her briskets, everyone thinks that her briskets are better than mine. You see, he's smiling back there. He hasn't even eaten. All right, son, don't make me okay. Yes, sir. So her briskets are better than mine, but uh, <laughs> we had briskets today. And, oh, wonderful thing today. We always do this on the first day. Yes, yeah, true. So I had prepared this lamb. Tonight, but we're going to come out and fellowship and, and uh, let me put some wood on this and just eat. Uh, do we have some beautiful organic uh, chicken freights uh, that are that 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 have no uh, uh, pork renderings or anything like that on them? And we're going to come and fellowship a little tonight and roast some on the grill. And, we get those marshmallows. Our daughters make marshmallows for the children because they have pork in them. Mm -hmm. They make them without pork. And so we, the Achim, will sit here. Let's go to this one, son. We don't believe in that women and men sitting together as far as fellowship. Mm -hmm. right. You know, playing with each other. Some other man looking at some other man's wife. Now, we don't go that way That's here. That's right. True. You don't come here talking to our women, period. Yeah. True. And, uh... And the daughters of Zion will sit down here. That's how we do it. Hallelujah. And the core part. Ah, oh, beautiful. Very sad that we cannot have that same beauty of fellowship. Find that building down there. That's the building. That's the daughters of Zion, man. That's where they fellowship. We got a place for the men to fellowship by themselves place for the daughter. We don't have no folly and foolishness. That's true. And that's what we do it here. So this is where the daughters will sit with the young ones. Ah, oh, we're full. We've had such a wonderful meal. He needs to eat too. <laughs> Bless you all. Be encouraged. May the 
May, may the great blessings of God rest upon you all, Yisra Until again I say Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Oh.